Hello Football Mania! Today there is the latest news from Inter Milan vs AC Milan. Why did the referee annul Ismael Benasser's goal? AC Milan lost heavily to Inter Milan in the second leg of the 2021-2022 Coppa Italia semi-final. The Rossoneri lost 3-0 and Ismael Benasser's goal disallowed was heavily criticized and was in the spotlight. Playing at the Stadio Giuseppe Miazza in the early hours of Wednesday 20 April, Milan have been in a difficult situation since the start of the match. Inter scored a goal in the fourth minute from Lotaro Martinez's action who got a pass from Darmian. Five minutes before the first half ended, Inter made it 2-0. Again from Martinez's goal, Inter closed the game with a three-goal advantage after Robin Gosens scored in the 82nd minute. Inter Milan advanced to the Coppa Italia final. The first leg ended 0-0 and Inter won 3-0 on aggregate. In the final, Inter will meet the winner of the duel between Fiorentina and Juventus which will be played on Thursday 21 April in the morning. AC Milan had a moment to change the situation. In the 66th minute, Milan was able to break into the Inter goal through Benasser's hard kick. However, the goal was later annulled by referee Maurizio Mariani after receiving confirmation from VAR. Initially, Inter players protested claiming that there was a handball by Fakeo Tamori before the goal. However, Tamori touched the ball with his chest. Mariani still ruled out Benasser's goal as VAR alerted Pierre Kalulu to a move that blocked Handanovic. If referring to the rules of the 2021-2022 edition of IFAB in round 11, Kalulu's position can be declared offside. Because, he moves, considered to be involved in the game, and interferes with the movement of the opponent in this case the view of goalkeeper Handanovic. Perhaps, Mariani and VAR referred to that article to decide Benasser's goal was disallowed for offside. However, the Milan still protested the decision. Milan believes there is nothing wrong with Kalulu. Milan are not satisfied with Mariani and VAR's decision. They believed that Benser's goal was valid and that Kalulu had not made any illegal moves. Despite his position in front of the goalkeeper, coach Stefano Paoli feels Kalulu is not blocking Handanovic's view. Next news. Liverpool win 9-0 aggregate over Manchester United. The Premier League presents an interesting match between two of England's top clubs, Liverpool and Manchester United on Wednesday 20 April this morning. This match also ended with an equally interesting score. Playing at their headquarters, Anfield, Liverpool managed to come out victorious with a landslide score of 4-0. This is not a result that often appears in meetings of two giant teams, because in general the duel is balanced. The series of Liverpool goals had even started when the game had only lasted for five minutes through new player, Luis Diaz. Then in the 22nd minute, Mohamed Salah added to the suffering of the opponent by changing the score to 2-0. Another goal was created in the second half. Sadio Mane made the Anfield public cheer when he managed to produce Liverpool's third goal in the 68th minute. The series of goals from the Reds was closed by Mo Salah five minutes before dispersal. This is Liverpool's second meeting with Manchester United in the Premier League. Overall, the meeting with the club nicknamed the Red Devils ended with a landslide aggregate score of 9-0. Yes, in the previous meeting which was held at Old Trafford in October 2021, Liverpool won the match with a score of 5-0. Mo Salah scored three goals, while Naby Keita and Diogo Hoda scored the others. All the fans are smart and know that this doesn't happen very often, said Jurgen Klopp when he met Sky Sports Media after the match. United are not good at the moment, but for our fans this is a big win and our fans deserve every pleasure. Tonight, they received so much joy, he continued. This is why Manchester United lost 0-4 to Liverpool. Manchester United interim manager Ralph Rangnick believes his team cannot create problems for Liverpool. Because of that, the Red Devils can lose with a big score. Luis Diaz, 5 feet, Mohamed Salah, 22 feet, 85, and Sadio Mane, 68, scored four of Liverpool's goals in this match. Mew could not score a reply until the game was over. This result led Liverpool to climb to the top of the Premier League standings with 76 points. Meanwhile, Mew must be stuck in sixth place with 54 points. Rangnick admits Liverpool are one of the best teams in the world right now. Therefore, it is not enough to just rely on physical strength to defeat them. They are one of the best teams in the world and we weren't physical or athletic enough, 
Rangnick told MUTV. Against a team like this, if you want to get them into trouble you have to have some moments on the counterattack yourself but we couldn't and that's why we lost 4-0. Rangnick insists that in order to beat Liverpool, the Red Devils must attack to create problems for the opponent. I'm pretty sure one of the players in the starting 11 knows about the importance of the game, not only with regards to the league standings but also with regards to our fans and supporters," he continued. To be able to get something out of a game like this you have to be in it. You have to attack them and cause them problems. In the first half we didn't do that at all, in the second half we did it for 25 minutes. Head-to-head -head Chelsea vs Arsenal. The big match will be presented in the continuation of the 2021-22 Premier League this week. The match pitted Chelsea against Arsenal. This party is scheduled to take place at home to Chelsea, Stamford Bridge. Kick-off on Thursday, April 21st. This meeting is one of the London derbies in the Premier League. Therefore, it definitely presents a hot atmosphere. Currently, Chelsea is in third place in the Premier League 2021-22 standings with 62 points from 30 matches. Arsenal are in sixth place with 54 points from 31 matches. Ahead of this match, it will be interesting to know how the head-to-head -head of Chelsea versus Arsenal will be. The following is the record based on the 11v11 match data collection site. Throughout history, Chelsea and Arsenal have clashed 204 times. The number of matches that run in various events. The details are Chelsea won 66 times, Arsenal won 80 times, and the game ended in a draw 58 times. Chelsea vs Arsenal's first clash was presented in the League Division 1 event on November 9, 1907. At that time, the Blues won 2-1. Chelsea's biggest win over Arsenal at home came on the 22nd of March 2014. The match took place in the Premier League. At that time, Chelsea won 6-0 over the Gunners. The Blues' winning goals were made by Samuel Eto'o, Andre Shirla, Eden Azar, Oscar, Tu, and Mohamed Salah. Arsenal last won at Stamford Bridge on May 12, 2021. That match was the second round of the Premier League last season. In that match, Arsenal won 1-0. The Gunners' single goal was scored by Emile Smith-Rowe in the 16th minute. 